just got here from getting that bloody mud crab. <laughs> ah, yes! <laughs> I've zoomed back, everything's cleaned. Now, I, this is what I was saying previously that I haven't eaten mud crabs in, geez, a decade, something like that. It's all pretty new to me, obviously, from that last episode with my failing crab pot episode. <laughs> but today, we've got one. We've got a good size bark, and he's legal, and he's good to go. Uh, so I've dispatched him and cleaned him and separated, because we're going to do basically my brother-in-law's recipe. It's a chilli mud crab, because he said, do not go and punish yourself with a cooked crab with no sort of flavourings, no sort of spices. Um, he said, ease yourself into it. Because uh, I'm not actually a huge fish eater, but I do appreciate fresh fish. It's pretty nice. I've got the recipe in my head and on the board behind the camera, so I can keep looking at it for referral. Let's get started. Right yeah, so what I'm gonna do is, this is the pot. Right, so what we're gonna do with the chili mud crab, I was told one can of coconut cream. All right. But once you pour that in, save the can, because that's for one full can of water to add to that as well. So we'll do that now. All right, one full can like that. Done. Teaspoon. Now. I don't know what he's trying to do to me, but he's saying one teaspoon, what is that? Red curry paste? Okay. Decent one there too. All right, that's that one. That's one of those. Now two of the green curry paste. Don't know if my brother-in-law is just having a laugh here and he's gonna Blow my socks off for what? Should be good though. Okay, that's them. Now what I need is... Oh, this just, just, just gets hotter. <laughs> one chilli. What are you saying to me? Just chop one up, one fully. Right, sharpen this bad boy. Always sharpen the knives. Why do it? Right, um, you guys are probably actually wondering what that is. That's a tr another Trenify thing. <laughs> what we call strop, and it just gets a finer edge on your knives. Just made out of a bit of timber and a bit of leather. So I might even do a thing on that in an episode down the track. We'll show you guys how to make that. Right, yeah, so take that end off. Don't want that. Don't want that. Okay. Don't take the old fingers off. of garlic, I like garlic. So I'm just gonna just wedge. That'd be a few cloves. <laughs> okay, now one lime. Old trick with the lime. Roll it, get the juices. I don't know what it does, it like releases the juices or gets it juicier, however that works. So you just roll, yeah, you just roll it and it gets Super soft, just like that. Now what Brad was telling me, take half a lime, throw the whole thing in. Roger that. Squeeze it. Throw it in. <laughs> All right, let's give that a stir, I'll get this teaspoon. Good. Yeah. It smells pretty good, guys. So we'll see. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is 
chuck this on the stove, get it to the boil. Once it's to the boil, then we throw the crab in and then it gets cooked from there. And we'll show you the end result. Ready? That Thai curry chili that I got from Brad is at the simmer. So now it's cracked the claws. This is a monster of a knife too, so it's A bit more, yeah. Right, yeah, they can go straight in. Oh, yep. Woo! Oh, that looks good. Okay, so don't stress about not covering because as soon as this goes on and simmers. It'll cover the meat. It'll be good to go. We'll infuse. Okay, it's time. Well, I think it's time. We'll have a look, but. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Ooh, I think that's done. Mm, get to try it. Let's try it. Ready, guys? It's done. Have a look at this. <laughs> Okay, so this is this is the first taste I've had in well a decade or over a decade. So here goes nothing. We'll just we'll have to do we'll have to do a claw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's still hot. Oh, that is hot. Right, I might tip it, eh? <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's not like, um, it's not like fish, it's not like anything. It's, I don't know what that is. Pretty good. Mint! Yes! Okay guys, 